Hello again, folks. Well, it's day six and part four of this video series on the restoration of the 1934 Maytag Model 30 Ringer Washer at the Bar U Ranch, which is a National Historic Site in Alberta. Uh, so some progress has been made in the last couple of days since my last video. Major progress. So I'll switch the camera around and explain what's uh, been going on. And I'm thinking by tomorrow, which will be day seven, at least that's my goal, is to have the machine reassembled uh, and hopefully ready for testing. So I'll switch the camera around here and we'll start with some of the painted uh, pieces that were primed first. I thought it wasn't necessary to show the priming. But uh, I do prime even though I use a, a spray paint that is a combination uh, primer and spray paint. I just somehow don't trust it. I always like to prime first. So here we go. So in front of me here are various components. We've got the ringer frame, three of the legs. Uh, there's the drain hose uh, coupling. Uh, the control lever for the ringer box, gearbox. This is the, what was called the power, um, or it attaches to the power leg. This is the ringer post, so that has the drive shaft for the ringer. These are the tension bolts that go into the ringer frame with springs, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, then the two pieces of the power unit. This is the top, and then there's the bottom. And then swinging over, we have the tub. This is definitely one of the most tedious things of this restoration or this uh, particular project. All my projects actually with Maytags, um, although typically I have to do the whole tub. Um, and by doing it, I mean wire brushing it with a grinder. So it's very tedious. And it's amazing, 89 year old paint and it's just it, you know, it's, it must have been really good paint back then because it's bonded to the metal. In fact, it's bonded to the aluminum more so than uh, the iron components. So I'm not going to paint the original paint here, as I explained earlier, because there's the old Maytag um, decal that I want to keep. And the paint's in, in relatively good shape. So I'm going to clear coat it, which will... Um, bring it up to the same gloss as, as the uh, painted components. And then uh, people can see the, the difference between the 89 year old paint and the new paint. And then over here, a few of the other painted components. We've got the belt guard, the ringer tension release. Um, I just realized I'm holding this video the vertical way, which is not the way to do it. So I do apologize for that. Um, that's part of the ringer post, a bracket. There's the power leg I was speaking of that supports the, the ringer post. And there's a, a support bracket for the tub, the pulley of course, and the ringer head, which is the gearbox. And then over here we've got the base plate and those are the tension springs for the ringer. And then I also explained in the other video that I was, uh, it was a major coup getting this uh, drive shaft, the agitator shaft, unseized. And uh, it uh, is moving beautifully now. I'll show you here in just a moment. Yeah, so it swings freely. And, oh, one last thing before I go. This is the uh, lid, of course. And I'm endeavoring to also save this decal. So what I'm going to do, and I've done it before on another machine, uh, not a Maytag, different brand. Uh, I'm going to hand sand right close to the decal. And then I will cut out a piece of heavy paper the shape of the decal, and then cover that with packing tape. 
and then another layer of packing tape will go just about an eighth of an inch past the edge of the decal and uh, then that'll protect it and I'll paint up to that point. Um, there will be a slight silver line which I'm thinking will actually look probably quite nice. So that is the project for tomorrow um, and then after that hopefully everything will be ready to go back together. So thanks for watching until next time.